Good morning, mga kaibigan. Happy Palm Sunday, by the way. Again, this is your friend, Miss Prisma D. So, tapos na po tayo doon sa ating mga tips no? on how to be productive during lockdown. No? So, I hope napapractice na po natin yon or na-apply na po natin. Although, meron mga uh, discussion na magkakaroon ng extension for the quarantine, uh, but I hope matapos na po yung pagkalat ng COVID-19 para at least we can go back to our normal lives. No? So, this time, since it's Palm Sunday, uh, araw ng palaspas, at ito na po ang simula ng pagunita natin ng uh, London season. No? Uh, yung, kumbaga, ito na yung umpisa ng araw na i-reflect natin kung ano ba talaga ang pinaka-meaning ng paggugunita ng London season. Kung napapansin niya, eh, medyo formal po tayo nakatay ngayon kasi nga, it's Palm Sunday and katatapos ko lang pong manood ng uh, Holy Mass, no? sa yung ginagawa nila sa Kiapo na doon sila nagmamas so ngayon since wala ko po tayong mas gathering kaya magtsaga na lang po tayo muna sa mga uh, youtube or live stream na holy mass so this time for our april 5 uh, again it's sunday uh, pang apat na vlog po natin to akong tutuusin kasi yung mga division of vlog natin for the part 3 is uh, do sa tips no? may continuation po yun kaya it is considered as vlog 3 now we are on the vlog 4 this time ano naman ang ating pag-uusapan no? uh, actually it's all about the learnings no? uh, realizations natin during the lockdown kumbaga Ano ba ang mga natutunan natin? Ano po ba ang mga discoveries natin? O ano yung mga realizations natin during the lockdown period no? due, to, due to the pandemic COVID-19? So, this time, uh, I would like to share it yung personal realizations ko po, no? or learnings. Uh, Una-una po sa lahat is intimate relationship with God. No? D during the lockdown po, uh, personally, narandaman ko na mas gusto kong mapalapit o mas na raramdaman ko ang pagkalapit kay Lord. No? Imagine uh, yung reflections na ginagawa natin. Okay. One is uh, asking for forgiveness. No? sa mga kasalanan na gawa natin personally po uh, yun po ang unang-unang uh, narandaman ko in order to be come closer to God is asking for forgiveness actually just before po ng lockdown during the start of 2020 January um, we often visit the mass in the market mall uh, and sometimes kasama ko po si mama and even sometimes si anak ko but every Sunday uh, I make sure na makapag-visit ko doon and actually yun po yung naging simula na mas naging malapit po kay Lord so mas lalo pong nangyari yun yung intimate relationship is during the lockdown mas nararamdaman ko po na God is just so near no? kaya kahit crisis po uh, lagi ko lang pong iniisip na God will never leave us alone. So, I hope uh, yun din po yung nagagawa natin is to reflect and to become more closer to God, lalo na ngayon. So, pangalawa po, uh, one of the realizations na during the lockdown na narandaman ko rin po personally is the quality time with the family uh, mas gusto ko pong uh, personally nagsisilbo sa family ko kung baga nabigay ko actually 100% or almost uh, of my time no? almost 100% of my time na 
na bigay sa kanila even po yung paghuhugas ng plato paglilinis ng bahay uh, two simple things na sometimes uh, hindi natin nagagawa during the normal ways because we are very busy with our work no? although we are doing that unlike now alas buong oras natin na bibigyan na natin sa family natin and that's an, one of the realizations na magandang nangyari kasi mas naramdaman ko na ang saya-saya pala when you are always eating together uh, laughing together playing shows playing games and um, usually hindi nyo na mapapansin na uh, naggagabi na pala uh, time to sleep yung ganon so it's really good thing na sana uh, kahit matapos na yung lockdown we can still keep ample time with our family you know? kasi um, we're not only uh, earning for a living uh, we're also earning for our family you know? uh, kailangan mabalase po natin yun kailangan mamanage po natin yung oras natin with our career at the same time with our family and third value of self worth you know? yung meaning of existence during the lockdown period uh, part of my reflections is uh, am I really truly giving my uh, function o yung kumbaga um, nagagawa ko pa ano yung rason kung bakit nandito ako sa mundo am I doing my responsibilities as one of the stewards of uh, Jesus Christ no on those simple things although sometimes talagang tao lang tayo uh, may mga pagkukulang may mga panahon na nagagalit tayo o nainis tayo pero at the back of that or despite of those things na nagagawa natin we still go back to the real sense or real worth ng sarili natin no? ano ba dahilan kung bakit nandito tayo sa mundo no? ano bang uh, rason or ano purpose to God why we are created no? not only to be not only as a mother or my son not only as a wife or my husband uh, at the same time parang maging instrumental ni Lord no? para extend yung ministry niya like what I'm doing right now uh, just to let you feel that we are not alone God is always uh, with us no? ang, kailangan, ang kailangan lang po natin is mataintim na panalangin no? uh, humingi ng tawad talikuran yung mga masamang ginagawa natin when we say talikuran uh, hindi yung literally natatalikod lang and then whenever you think of going back babalikan mo po no? uh, because of boredom or something else na dasana panapi mo. No. When you say tatalikuran yung masamang gawain, you go forward. Ano ba yung mga dapat natin gawin in order to become one of the instruments of God, no, para ma-share yung word of God, para matulungan yung ibang tao, no, by deed, good deeds, no. Lalo na sa panahon ngayon, hindi naman kailangan po maging mayaman po tayo. Uh, para makatulong no? uh, money is not actually literally uh, major factor para makatulong one of the powerful one na tumutulong tayo is to pray no? yan po ang di mabibili ng kahit ano gaano makahalaga pera prayer is uh, a major thing na kailangan natin gawin napakahalagang bagay po yan para at least makatulong tayo sa sangkatauhan para ma-save ang mundo po natin kasi po if each one of us no, na nag-pray para at least matapos na pong COVID-19 niringgin po ng Panginoon ang ating panalangin provided kailangan naman po when we pray with sincerity at saka po yung kasabay po nun kasunod nun yung magandang pamuhay po natin so I hope no, nakita po natin yung value of self worth at yung 
meaning of our existence in this world. Pang-apat po, no? katulad na sinabi ko po, when we say we are Christian, uh, kailangan may follow up yan. No? The value of helping. So, we need to be happy of sharing of our blessings. No? Uh, kung ano meron po natin, kailangan matuto po tayo mag-share sa kapwa natin. Not only with our friends, not only with our neighbors, even yung the worst people around us. No? Kahit kaano mga kasama ay isang tao, meron po ang king kabaitan niyan na sa oras na kagipitan ay eh, kailangan po natin tulungan din. So, when you share your blessings, when you do things, no, hindi naman po natin kailangan na uh, ipagsabi. But, uh, sometimes we actually uh, show it to others as a good example para tularan ng iba. No? Katulad ng mga napapanood natin mga mababait na tao, may mabubusilak na puso na tumutulong sa ating mga kapwa na nahihirapan ngayon life sa crisis. Um, naka ano po yan sa social media not because of popularity. No? Ito po ay dinadala ni sa social media in order for us to have a good example. No? Para meron tayong pwedeng tularan. Kumbaga i-link po natin no? the chain of giving no the essence of giving no? being generous po uh, ay isang magandang karakter din po ng mga Pilipino and not only that even our nearby countries tumutulong po sila sa atin nowadays no and uh, according to the OH eh, darating nga po daw yung mga 12 experts from China today and uh, sila po yung mga magiging kaagabay po din natin and we are very uh, thankful for that so lastly uh, isang pinakahuling makonsider ko nakonsider ko kung realization is the value of money uh, actually natatawa ako sa sarili ko when I'm putting this as a draft no? kasi masyado din po kasi akong doll out no? before the lockdown uh, and to be honest uh, I really don't have my personal savings no? uh, siguro masyado akong uh, relax and and not merely thinking of uh, having like this or experiencing like this situation but um, naisip ko po na uh, in times of crisis like this iba rin po kung talaga may ikong po tayo I hope hindi lang po ako may realization nito mga my dear oceans no? my dear friends no? sana lahat po tayo o, even kung sino man po ang mga uh, naramdaman nila in crisis o hindi man because we are all of, uh, affected of this crisis I hope we find worth with the money napakahalaga po na i-value po natin yung money because lahat ng bagay na pinaghirapan kailapan po ay pinangangalagaan po yan especially yung mga earnings po natin uh, kailangan po natin bigyan ng justice kumbaga ng mga ginagastasan po natin no? and even uh, maisip po natin ang importansya kung saan napupunta po siya kung saan napupunta yung pinagpaguran natin na sulit po talaga siya and hopefully right after the quarantine we can start all over again di ba sabi nga nila eh lahat naman pwedeng uh, pagsimagapan at it's never been too late sabi nga nila no? and hopefully um, we can start a new one, no? Yung mga challenge, challenge na ipon. So, congratulations po doon sa mga, mga matagumpay na nagkaroon ng mga challenge ipon dyan. And, uh, one of my colleagues, no, in the office, mahilig din siya sa mga challenge, challenge na ipon na yan. So, uh, malaking bagay po yun. So, sana guys, uh, my friends, I hope you learned something with those five realizations that I have shared to you. Actually, those are my personal realizations. And I know you have also uh, yours, no? 
Sana po uh, mabigyan natin ng panahon na madiskubre ang mga lahat-lahat ng bagay na kailangan natin madiskubre during the quarantine period. And humihingi po ako sa inyo ng tulong, no? Not literally or material. Humihingi po ako ng tulong ng dasal. Sana po bigyan po natin ng panahon uh, bago man lang matulog o kaya pagkagising panahon na magpasalamat sa Panginoon Panginoon uh, panahon na minantawan sa Panginoon at panahon na oras na mataimtim po tayong humingi ng habag para maawa na po ang Diyos sa atin at bumalik na sa normal ang ating mga kanyang buhay and so guys uh, that will be all and you can uh, share this video para at least uh, makita din ng mga ibang friends natin and even uh, subscribe para naman at least um, marami pa tayong vlog na gagawin and hopefully uh, we can continue uh, our vlog every Sunday but definitely we have a special vlog episode on April 9 in order to give a tribute sa mga bayani po natin dyan. Now we are considering our frontliners our great heroes. So, meron po tayong a special vlog edition, no? Uh, episode, I mean, on April 9. Abangan nyo po yan because it's araw ng kagitian. So, again, happy Sunday. Enjoy your day with your family. And, uh, hopefully you can find happiness during the quarantine period. Thank you very much. God bless us all.